Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new to my channel, hey, welcome. I hope you consider subscribing. And if you're back, welcome back. Today, I'm here with an unboxing of two kits from Diamond Art Club's massive Black Friday sale. Um, I placed more orders than I care to admit <laughs> because I was really in love with a lot of the kits that they were releasing. Uh, but these two in particular were on pre-order when I ordered them and they just came in and I thought I am dying to get into these. Why not do it with all of you? So just a couple of quick notes up front. So I am a Diamond Art Club affiliate, um, which means that Obviously, I have an affiliate relationship with them. Um, I have a discount code below that you're welcome to use if you are new to Diamond Art Club and want to try them out. It'll save you 20% off of your first purchase. Feel free to check that, that out below if you're interested. There's no obligation. The only thing I say is not to ever pay full price for Diamond Art Club because they have discount codes everywhere. There's one on the side of the box here. Um, there's some in their VIP group. There are other affiliates. Um, there's some in the app, just don't pay full price. That's all I say. But I just wanna make sure that you know that affiliate relationship is there and they do occasionally send me sneak peeks to share with you all. However, these are kits that I purchased myself. So just wanna make sure you know that as well. <laughs> I just adore what Diamond Art Club does with diamond paintings and couldn't resist. So I have two kits again for you here and we're gonna go ahead and start with the square one over here on the right. Um, just so you know, these are the two kits we'll be getting into, the Dragon Lantern and Night Kitsune. So we're gonna start with the Dragon Lantern. Um, feel free to skip ahead if you're just interested in the Night Kitsune uh, kit, but this is the one I have to say that I was maybe most excited about. If you've seen videos from me before, there's a good chance you've heard me talk about how much I adore all things dragons, and this is no exception. <laughs> and so um, without further ado, let's get into it. So how are you guys all doing today? I hope you're doing wonderfully and that you are staying safe and healthy. Um, I hope that your pre-orders are coming in if you're waiting on any Diamond Art Club Black Friday pre-orders. Um, like I said, this kit is the Dragon Lantern. It's from Heather R. Hitchman. I'm trying to remember if we've had a kit from her before or not, I, or them. I will take a look. Um, again, this is a square diamond, diamond painting kit. It's 56 by 84. Um, and then you could see here, square diamonds, lets us know that as well. On the back of the box, you'll see some how it works instructions about how to diamond paint. Um, there'll also be a booklet in here. And I also always recommend checking out some YouTube videos. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into the box. Did it come out? There it is, okay. So just in case you're wondering, because I've seen this question going around quite a lot about the toolkits. So Diamond Art Club is in the process of switching over to new toolkits that include some additional accessories. Now, my, my impression is that so far, most of the Black Friday kits are not coming with the newer toolkits. They're coming with the regular, like older toolkits, which still have everything you need to do diamond painting. Um, but if you're curious about like, okay, which kits are going to be coming with the new toolkits, um, there is not an exact science to it. It is gonna be a gradual transition, much like their switch over to um, the, the new diamonds that they've started manufacturing in house, how it was kind of a gradual thing where some kits were coming with them and some were not. It's gonna be the same idea with the toolkits. Um, that's just kind of how the manufacturing process works and how the release schedule works. So I think the best, that your best bet is to see if, um, someone has a sneak peek or an unboxing of a particular kit and s watch that and see if it comes with the new toolkit or this toolkit. And again, that's probably your best bet. So anyway, like I said, these toolkits, these uh, older toolkits still are excellent. <laughs> um, the new ones just have some additional extras, but anyway, this is gonna come with baggies that you can use to store your leftover drills in if you like. We have a pair of pointy tweezers and a basic pen. There's also a thin plastic multi-placer, a plastic tray, and then a squishy for your pen and two plates of pink heart wax. This is a really nice quality wax. And again, this really is everything that you're going to need to do your diamond painting. <laughs> so, um, let me just try to put this away. One thing to note is that Diamond Art Club with the toolkits that come with the square drill diamond painting kits, those ones do come with these tweezers. However, as you'll see when we get into the Night Kitsune kit, which is a round diamond diamond painting kit, 
That one is not gonna come with tweezers. That's exclusive to Square Drill Kits from Diamond Art Club. These also come with a small logbook sticker. Um, you can use this, like it says, you can use it in your logbook or anywhere else. Some people will use it as part of um, labeling the boxes so that they're able to sort through their stash more quickly. Um, you can also get creative with these if you so desire. I use it in my paper logbook. Now let's go ahead and get into the kit itself. So everything else comes inside this plastic sleeve. I am so excited about this kit, you guys. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at that dragon already. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I love it. Oh, it's so cute. Now, as someone that really, really loves all things dragons, I especially love that Diamond Art Club has a variety as far as the artwork goes that they offer where you have some some of the like really cute dragons like the draglings from Randall Spangler but then you also have some of these like more muted tones and a little bit like more I don't know I don't know what the word is that I'm looking for but it just has a very different vibe um and it makes my dragon loving heart so happy that there's this huge variety so I'm like I can get every dragon kit and just reach for the one that I am in the mood for at that moment. <laughs> now I'm rolling this back the other way to help it lay flat. Diamond Art Club's kits use poured glue, which is the type of adhesive that they have on the canvas. It's very forgiving. It's, oops, sorry to bump you there. It's very high quality. It's almost squishy to work on. It's very sticky. Um, but that that means that it is safe. The, the fact that it's poured glue means that it's safe to roll backwards. If you're working on a canvas with double-sided adhesive or like a mounted film adhesive, um, don't roll that backwards because that can damage the adhesive, but I love working on poured glue. <laughs> um, here's uh, the branding for the canvas, as well as if you look at the edges, you can see that they're scalloped and they're finished, so you're not gonna have to worry about fraying. Over here at the top left, we have a legend with all the colors. Look at all of those browns and beiges and yellows. Oh my goodness. Uh, so this is gonna have, let's see, 38 colors. And this color code column, these are all DMC codes. Um, DMC is a color code system that's used with uh, like floss and stitching. Uh, the only difference between these Diamond Art Clips kits and uh, the DMC color code is that at least with Diamond Art Club, any numbers under the number 150 are going to be AB drills. If you're not sure what I mean when I say AB, I will explain when we get to the drills themselves. Now we have the same legend over here at the bottom right. And here at the bottom left, we have the thumbnail and then all the information about the artwork. The Dragon Lantern, 56 by 84 centimeters, Heather R. Hitchman, Diamond Art Club. Now this is... Just another reminder that Diamond Art Club does something that is super important to me and to many other creators and diamond painters and crafters is Diamond Art Club has legally licensed all of the artwork in their diamond painting kits from the artist. So Heather R. Hitchman has given not only permission for the use of this artwork as a diamond painting by Diamond Art Club, but Heather is also being compensated for the use of her artwork. So um, artwork theft is really common in the crafting world, unfortunately. So I'm all about supporting companies that are trying to do right by artists and do things the right way. Over here, you have another discount code as well as Diamond Art Club's social media info. Be sure to follow them there for uh, previews for their new weekend releases and whatnot. And then here's info about their lifetime warranty. Um, I always like to mention that if you ever run into any issues with the canvas, the glue, the drills, anything, contact Diamond Art Club. They will get you taken care of. Let's take a look at the drill field. Make sure that we see some very clear symbols. I wanna see if there are any that we look like we might mix up. Look at the cute dragon. I love it. Now I have to be honest, normally this color scheme is not my color scheme. However, I worked on a magical kit <laughs> called the Dragon Store earlier this year. It has, it's probably one of my very favorite finishes of the entire year um, and possibly ever in diamond painting. And that kit has a really similar kind of like darker color scheme. So I, 
I just, I am okay with this. <laughs> it looks like there's actually a fair amount of color blocking, especially on the edges, because there's that really gorgeous shading of like the lighting in the background. Look at how mischievous this dragon is. Oh my gosh, is this the mica of these dragons? I have a three and a half year old that I call my tiny tornado and he is just mischief incarnate. So <laughs> this dragon is giving me very mischievous vibes. <laughs> But yes, um, the drill field looks super clear. I don't think I'm seeing any symbols that I'm worried about mixing up with one another. And you can see again, like there's good chunks of color blocking up here. Now color blocking really quick, um, if you're not sure what I mean, color blocking is when you have like kind of large areas of the same color. You'll be able to use a multi-placer with those. They usually go faster because you're not having to change out the colors in your tray as often. Um, we call that color blocking uh, as opposed to areas with lots of confetti um like maybe some areas like in the dragon's face where there's a lot more like color changes and you'll be single placing for the most part okay there you can actually see most of the artwork in frame just go ahead and turn your device sideways and that'll give you a better sense for it let's measure and see if this is true to size and i just realized i have not yet shown you these goodies we'll get there it's just we're doing this a little out of order i do this sometimes where i just get so darn excited about seeing the canvas <laughs> that everything else just goes out the window i just throw it to the side like just give me the canvas please give me the canvas <laughs> so we're at about 83 and a half centimeters and this is listed as 84 so just a little bit shy of 84 centimeters tall and then uh, we are just the tiniest tick shy of 56 centimeters and it's listed as 56 centimeters wide. I'm gonna call that true to size. I like to give companies a centimeter or two of wiggle room just because of how like the exact dimensions of the artwork and the drill field can work out. I'm gonna call it true to size. Diamond Art Club usually is true to size, but I always like to double check. <laughs> so rolled up in here with this canvas, um, there are the drills, and then we have the step-by-step -step instruction booklet. Uh, it does have a discount code in here uh, and instructions on how to diamond paint. Again, I tend to re recommend checking out um, videos if you're a visual learner like I am. Uh, here's the inventory sticker sheet. So there's the title and the artist. I feel like I misspoke and said author at some point in this video instead of artist, but oh well. There's a spot to write your start and end date if you like. Here's this adorable original artwork. I love it. Uh, diamond shape, square, size 56 by 84 centimeters. This is a set of inventory stickers, and these are pre-cut for you. So if you like to kit up into storage containers like I do, this will make that kitting up process go super, super quickly because you can just peel these right off. So love this. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the drills or the diamonds together. In particular, I always like to take a look at the ABs especially, and then we will go through and I will point out on the canvas where there's those ABs have been charted. So moment of appreciation and silence for this beautiful packing job that I will not be able to replicate, but look at how warm and just cozy and delightful these colors are. I love it. So, okay, let's get into it. So again, this is a square drill diamond painting kit, and it looks like this is probably gonna have a mix of the old drills and the new drills. The new ones, you can tell most easily with the square drills. They did also start manufacturing their round drills in house, but to be honest, I have a much easier time telling the difference with the new ones. The way that you can tell the difference most easily is if you look at the tops of the drills and you can see that they're cut uh, with facets on the top, the new diamonds will all be cut with 13 facets on top, whereas the older diamonds, there will be a mix of diamonds cut with 13 and diamonds cut with nine facets on top. I've also found that like when I'm uh, doing this, like an unboxing and feeling the package, the new diamonds almost feel softer in the package. I don't know what it is, um, but the new diamonds are so sparkly and so amazing. I love them. Oh my gosh, these colors are so rich and beautiful. Look at this vibrant orange. Browns, every shade of brown and beige. Oh my gosh, look at this like rusty burnt orange and a peach. That was our first strand. 
Diamond Art Club, typically their diamonds, the order that they're in is by weight, but it's not perfect, <laughs> a perfect science. So one, two, three, four, five, five bags of 938. And then one, two, three, four, five, six bags of 3371. Now this color has occasionally given me trouble in the past. There's something about the manufacturing process that for whatever reason, the darker drills can be a little bit more trash prone, like having diamonds with like little tabs on the ends and whatnot, but 939, 632. We will get to some ABs here soon, I hope. And how about right now? <laughs> Here's our first AB, 132. Now, again, if you are not sure what I mean when I say AB, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It's referring to this amazing sparkly iridescent coating on the tops of these drills or these diamonds. This gives them even more sparkle than regular diamonds. They're gonna draw your eye to the areas of the painting where this has been charted. It's gonna pick up some of the colors of the drills around it as well. And that coating on the top often reflects more colors in addition to like that base orange color. So like you can see this one's reflecting like some pinks and some blues and yellows even a little bit. So that's just gonna sparkle so beautifully. Like I said, we will take a look together. After we're done looking at all the drills, I'll point out to you where those ABs are going to go. We have more browns, oranges, reds. Look at this yellow, that like true yellow. More browns, oh my gosh. Now when you have so many colors, like so many different shades of the same sorts of colors, like lots of different shades of browns, what that often means is that the shading is going to be amazing and that there's gonna be this incredible level of detail and really beautiful finished effect. So. That's why we have so many different shades of brown. Here's our second and final AB. This is 129. This is a really pretty pale, like pastel yellow. Love that. It's kind of a subtler AB, like that iridescent coating on the top is reflecting more of kind of that yellowy color. And then we have just the tiniest handfuls of these last colors. So let's take a look together and see exactly where those ABs are going to go. I'm looking for the numbers one and two. And uh, two was that orange AB, that kind of tangerine orange AB. That is in these lightest areas of the dragon's head here. There's bits and outlines of it here in the flame, as well as outlining the highlighting. Yeah, the lightest part of the tail. I really, really love how Diamond Art Club usually charts their ABs because typically they chart their ABs in a way that also just works for my brain and how I would hypothetically chart ABs if I were in that magical position of charting artwork. Um, I'll leave that to the professionals, but I tend to really enjoy when ABs have been charted in areas that are like where the light is reflecting off of, like the, the focal points, the brightest parts of the canvas. And it looks like that's definitely the case for this kit. Um, we have that pale yellow here in the flame that's coming out of this dragon. And then we have a good bit of that orange tangerine AB here um, outlining and kind of speckled throughout his snoot. And also in the flames here, kind of on the outside. Perfect, I mean, the fire should have ABs, right? <laughs> There's a tiny bit of the orange AB here under the wing. And then here we have some of the orange AB. And in this dragon, we have some of the pale yellow AB here in the flame, a dot each of the pale yellow AB in the dragon's eyes, and then some orange AB highlighting through the flame as well as through the dragon's face. So I love the AB placement. I think that that is perfect AB placement for this kit. Um, I, I don't know that I would have necessarily added more, like or if I would hypothetically want to go back in and like add some enhancement drills in myself, but I love the way that this is looking. This is adorable. And I really, really hope that I can get to it soon. I bet this is gonna be so cute and just so warm and cozy when it's done. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and shift to this to the side and let's take a look at our other diamond painting kit together. All right, 
So here we have, again, this is Night Kitsune. This is from the artist Jeremiah Kettner. Uh, it's a round diamond painting kit. It's 51 by 64 centimeters. Um, now, much of what's going on with this kit is gonna be the same as the first. So I'm gonna skim over some of those parts, but if you're interested in some of the basics, like what's on the outside of the box or the toolkit itself, um, just go take a look at the very beginning of the first video or the first kit and uh, that will hopefully just make this video not be too terribly long. But um, Diamond Art Club has licensed a few different pieces from Jeremiah Kettner. They, most of them seem to have like this same sort of color scheme and look so cute when they're done. Now I am super partial to foxes. Like they're a, a really close runner up for me to dragons. <laughs> dragons then foxes um so when i saw that jeremiah kettner's this night kitsune had been licensed i was like well i have to have that <laughs> here's our logbook sticker again this has all the info about the kit um and you can put this in your paper logbook if you have one you can um use it for storage purposes whatever you want to do with it <laughs> we have our same basic toolkit that has a pen a tray a squishy pink wax some baggies and a, a plastic multiplacer the one thing that's different from this toolkit compared to the other one is since this is a round drill diamond painting kit it's not gonna have tweezers the square drill diamond painting kits from diamond art club are the only ones that come with the tweezers so just fyi Let's go ahead and get into this kit. This is a little bit smaller than the other. It already feels a little bit lighter. But we have the canvas and all of the other pieces to this kit here in the plastic bag. Let's take a look. So this is the bottom. Oh my gosh, so cute. So stinking cute, I love it. All right, let's roll it backwards to help it lay the opposite direction. Now, I know, I know, by the way, some of you are probably like, it's not a fox, it's a kitsune, it says in the title. But, but it still kind of looks like a fox. It's enough of the of same effect that I still love this, this creature, as it were. <laughs> Look how cute it is. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it so cute so just a quick recap of the different elements of the canvas here's the branding you can see the edges are scalloped and finished um, the canvases themselves are uh, a bit soft on the back it's a really nice sturdy and thick material it's going to lay flat really nicely and hold drills really well this kit's going to have 31 colors this is a legend over here on the top left and we have our color code which this is the same as the dmc color code any numbers under 150 though in diamond art clubs system uh, color code system any numbers under 150 are going to be ab drills i'll be sure to explain what those are when we're actually looking at the diamonds later so stay tuned if you're new and not sure what those are we have the same legend over here on the bottom right and then here on the bottom left we have a thumbnail and all the information about the artwork itself including a reminder that this has been licensed from the artist so jeremiah kettner has not only given their permission for the use of their artwork, but also uh, they're being compensated for the use of their artwork. And that's the case with all of Diamond Art Club's diamond painting kits. And it's super important to me and many other creators as well and crafters, so love that. Here's Diamond Art Club's social media info and then info about their lifetime warranty. I always like to mention that if you ever run into any issues with the canvas or with the drills or anything like that, just contact Diamond Art Club's customer service. You can send them an email or a Facebook message and they will get you taken care of. <laughs> now included in this kit, it's just like the last one, we do have a booklet with step-by-step -step instructions for how to diamond paint. This has a discount code in it, but just a reminder, if you are new to Diamond Art Club and wanna save 20% off, you're more than welcome to use my affiliate discount code. Please take a look below for all of that info if you're interested. And then we have a sticker inventory sheet. Here's all the info about the artwork a place for you to write your start and end date. And then look at the cuteness. That's the original artwork. I actually really love these colors. It's so dreamy. I love it. Uh, again, these are gonna be round diamonds or round drills and the size 51 by 64 centimeters. Now over here, these are super useful. These are pre-cut stickers. So if you're like me and you prefer to kit up your 
diamond paintings, the drills into storage containers. This will make that process go super quickly. Um, and I'm taking a quick look at the symbols. We do have a V and a U that are similar colors. So we'll be sure to take a look at the canvas and make sure that those don't look like symbols we're going to mix up. But yeah, we'll take a look and see. So let's do a really quick measurement and then we'll take a look at the drill field and see what we think. So this should be 51 by 64. We are just a tiny tick shy of 64 centimeters up and down and then a tiny tick shy of 51 left to right. So I am gonna call that true to size. Let's look at the drill field together. Now, if you're taking a look by the way and you're like, uh, are those wrinkles or bubbles? Is this a problem? <laughs> Short answer, no, not at all. That's just where the plastic cover has shifted, where it's been wrapped around the drills and whatnot. If those wrinkles are bothering you, you can just peel back the plastic cover like I just did and they're basically gone. Um, they're not going to hurt the canvas if you just leave them though. It's It'll be fine. It's not gonna mess with the glue or anything like that. Okay, drill field. To take a look and see right off the bat here we go so take a look here we have the letters v and u right next to each other they're black print um with a brown like uh outline kind of around the the back so those do look similar however they're printed so clearly that i can certainly tell the difference but it is the sort of thing that i want to point out so you can be aware of of that similarity um and just just to be intentional about that. But like I said, it's printed so clearly that I don't think it's going to be an issue. It, that's not gonna be a deal breaker for me at least. But like I said, I just wanna make sure you know that that is there. It looks like we will have some color blocking or areas that have a lot of the same color um, in one section so be able to multi-place. Those will usually go faster. A little bit of confetti as well. Look at our box face, <laughs> so cute. And then these pretty hanging paper lanterns. I love it. It it feels very New Year y to me for some reason. I think because of like I don't know, just the overall vibe. <laughs> so the drill field does look pretty clear to me. I would just watch out for that V and that U, like I mentioned, but. I'm not too, too worried about it. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the diamonds together. All right, oh, pretty colors. This actually doesn't seem like a ton of diamonds comparatively, but um, if for whatever reason I were low on any of these, which I don't think I will be, but if I were, I would just contact Diamond Art Club and I'm sure that they would send me more if they needed to. So here we go. Now Diamond Art Club did start manufacturing all of their diamonds in house. If I have to be honest with you, I have a difficult time telling at a glance in the bags if the diamonds, if round diamonds are the newer or the older ones. <laughs> the newer round diamonds will be even more sparkly than the older ones. The older ones were still really, really excellent quality, but Diamond Art Club saw a, a chance for improvement and they took it. <laughs> now, here we have our first AB in this kit. This is 126, this really pale lavender color. And AB stands for Aurora Borealis. That's referring to this super sparkly iridescent coating that is on the tops of these diamonds. Um, obviously it makes them sparkle so much, even more than regular diamonds. It's gonna reflect kind of a variety of colors there. You can kind of see like some blues and pinks and maybe like yellows or greens. It's gonna draw your eye to the areas of the canvas where this has been charted and it's gonna pick up some of the colors of the diamonds around them as well. We will take a look together at where exactly those ABs are charted to go. So lots and lots of just really dreamy and muted colors here. 938 purples. Ooh, look at that big bag. Here's our second AB of two. 136. 
This AB is so striking and Diamond Art Club is using it more and more lately and I love it. There's a little straggler in there, that's okay. But this blue AB, look at all of those amazing colors that that is reflecting on the tops. Uh, AB drills will often not necessarily reflect the base colors. So the tops of these, you can see it's reflect, reflecting like pinks and greens and yellows. I cannot wait to see where exactly these have been charted in this in this kit. A couple of bags of 797, a couple of bags of 779, blues, purples, browns. Oh, I love this pink. Oh my gosh. So, so pretty. And then this last strand here, more blues, including two bags of 792. And then ending off with these amazing pink and purple, love it. Now let's take a look together and see where those ABs are going to go. So we're going to start at the bottom and work our way up. We're looking for the numbers one and two. And the number two is that striking blue AB. It is tracing throughout here, kind of areas of the bottom, along here. Let me see. Oh, that's gonna be so pretty. Okay, just kind of outlining in here as well. And then let's keep going. The number one was that pale lavender AB. There's a big chunk of it right here. This mark on the Kitsune's chest. There is more of that lavender AB here. The lavender outlining the lightest part of the tail. Keep going. I'll make sure I'm not missing more of that number two. Maybe it's closer to the top. Let's keep going. Is that, okay. So the number two, that striking blue AB is coming back into play on both sides of the canvas here. These, if you follow where my finger is going, it's like around this aura that's around the fox. It goes all the way up, including around, sorry, Kitsune, the ears as well. If you look at the original artwork here, it's this outlining effect, like the outside of like this aura, aura, <laughs> uh, is that blue AB that is so striking. I love that charting. That's gonna be gorgeous, so gorgeous. Uh, we have a little bit more of the pale lavender AB here in the kitsune's like around its whiskers like kind of outlining its face here and then do we have any more up as we go up maybe not i think that that is it i love it i really really love those ab's that's going to be beautiful like i said that blue ab where'd you go this amazing color and those colors on top, is that not so perfect for kind of like outlining this kind of like haze around the Kitsune? I think that's going to be so beautiful. I adore how Diamond Art Club is charting their ABs lately. It's so, so suiting the painting. It, I love it, love it, love it, love it. So this is Night Kitsune from Jeremiah Kettner. Again, this was one of the pre-orders from Diamond Art Club's Black Friday weekend releases, the amazing extravaganza that was Black Friday with Diamond Art Club. And then just as a quick little refresher, here is the Dragon Lantern from Heather R. Hitchman, also from Diamond Art Club's set of pre-orders from Black Friday weekend. You guys, these kits are so stinking adorable. I love both of them. Foxes and dragons, I am in my happy place right now. <laughs> um, I'm not totally sure when I'm gonna have the chance to work on these two kits, but I have no doubt that they will be making an appearance on my channel and Instagram at some point, hopefully this year, we'll see. So I am not sure if these kits are in stock as of the time of this video going up um, or when you are watching it, but I'm going to link to both listings below down in the description. Feel free to go and check and see. And if either one of these kits, the one that you're looking at, um, is not in stock 
when you go to order, there should be a place where you can sign up for email notifications for when it is restocked. So um, you can put your email in there and you'll get a, a message when they, when they have restocked it. So um, I'm so excited. Thank you, Diamond Art Club, for doing such an incredible Black Friday release. I loved this year's set of releases. And I would love to hear from you guys. Did you pick up either one of these kits from Black Friday? Have you had the chance to open them up for yourself? <laughs> um, I hope that uh, this video was helpful though. If you you know, were on the fence about either of these kits and debating whether to add them to your collection. If you are still thinking about it, these look amazing and I don't think that you would regret it whatsoever. So like I said, I'll link to both of them below. If you're new to Diamond Art Club and want to save 20% on your first purchase, again, just to let you know, my code is Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. Uh, that'll save you 20% off your first purchase. But I may make a small commission if you choose to use it. So no obligation. Like I said, just don't pay full price for Diamond Art Club. There's discount codes everywhere. Um, with that though, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Like I said, let me know if either of these are in your stash or going to be now making their way into your stash. Um, and thank you so much for watching. I super appreciate you guys and hope this video was helpful for you, like I said. And if you're not already subscribed and want to see more diamond painting content from me, whether it's unboxings, post reviews, moving chats, the whole nine, um, I'd love to have you be a part of my little community here on the internet. So feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when I share new videos. All right, my friends, that's it for today. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.